Hi, this is Josh, KB6VTU. Today I'm gonna to show you how to put together an easy and inexpensive APRS system for the car. This will run off the cigarette lighter, works really well. Let's get started. This is the heart of the system. This is the Yaesu FT1D. This is um, used, I bought this for about $150 on eBay. And this is a fully self-contained APRS radio. It has a GPS built in the top. They all have GPS. If you get the, this particular radio, it's gotta be this radio. Okay, we're gonna start out by putting the antenna on the roof. This is a dual band antenna. It's a quarter wave on two meters, and that's all we care about. All right, so we're gonna remove the rubber ducky from the radio because inside the car, the car acts like a Faraday cage and the signal just doesn't make it very far. Um, but when you use the external antenna on top of the car, it makes a huge difference, even at just five watts. We're gonna use this little adapter. It's SMA, I don't know if you can see that too well, but it's SMA to UHF on the other side, so that connects to the coax. So we're gonna connect that to the top of the radio. These are about 10 bucks on eBay. All right, so now the radio is connected up to the antenna on the roof, the mag mount. Next thing we need is power. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug in the cigarette lighter to radio adapter. Boom, that plugs in there, and then we'll plug it into the car too. Okay, here we go. We're plugging the cigarette lighter adapter into the cigarette lighter receptacle. That's where the power is gonna come from. And when I turn on the ignition, right here, Boom, the radio comes on. The ignition's on and the radio just automatically comes on. If you've left it on the on position, it will remember that when the power comes on, the radio comes on too. You turn off the car and the radio goes off. You turn on the car and the radio comes on. At this point, the radio is gonna start sending and receiving APRS packets. All right, if you're interested in learning more about how to program the radio for APRS, it is pretty simple, but I am gonna make a separate video on that. So that should be available within a couple days. Look for that, but maybe there'll be a link at the end of this video and that video will show you how to program the radio. It is pretty simple. The instructions are not always intuitive, but once you do it once, you'll find it that it's pretty easy and then you don't have to change it once it's set up. Also, be aware that the Yesu radios, and again, we have the Yesu FT1D here. This is the handheld. Then they make the FTM100. So if five watts isn't enough for you, um, for about $250 used on eBay, you can find the FTM100, which is going to give you 50 watts out on two meters. Still got the great Yesu menu system and the great Yesu APRS. It's got a really sensitive GPS receiver. I really recommend the Yesu radios for simple, really easy, ready to go APRS systems. They work really well. The top of the line is the FTM 400 DXR maybe, but that's a, it's a, it's an expense. That's a $400 radio brand new. You're not going to find too many of those used. But the FTM100, you will find a fair amount of those used. I see them on QRZ, and I see them on eBay. They're really nice little radios, and they do a great job at APRS. And they put out 50 watts if you need 50 watts. But the great thing about this radio is you can run it off the cigarette lighter without any concern about overloading your system. And really, as long as you're using an external antenna, 5 watts works fine. Just look at the map that'll follow this on APRS.FI and you'll see how I drove about 12 miles and it consistently was able to check in. Now, I live in a fairly metropolitan area in the San Francisco Bay Area and I was uh, about 10 miles south of San Francisco and so there are a lot of APRS digipeters there. If you're in a more rural area, maybe you need a little bit more power but the most important thing is getting the antenna outside the car. So getting a mag mount on two meters outside the car makes all the difference in the world. 
The difference between five watts and 50 watts isn't that big a difference in my opinion, but the difference between a rubber duck in the car and the quarter wave mag mount on the outside of the car is a huge difference. So I strongly encourage you to buy the little $10 adapter that allows you to plug the SMA from your radio into the UHF connector from the antenna and get that signal on the outside of the car. All right, good luck, enjoy.